Hello, everybody. It is Carla Silver. I just got to do some testing on my end to make sure that I'm actually live. Turn my phone off. Hello, hello, everybody. Hey, Meryl. Good to see you. Love you. Hey, Steven. Hold on, hold on. Oh, maybe, hold on. There we go. Woohoo! We're going to get started in just about. I don't know, 30 seconds or so, let you let you guys uh, come on as the oh, notifications yeah. come out. Right on. Hey, Diane. Hold on, i got to turn this off. About, I don't know, 30 seconds Can't I make so myself be quiet? Guys, uh, come on as the notifications <laughs> come out. Right on. Hey, Meryl. Hey, Diane. All right. Hold on, i got to turn this off. I don't know. 30 seconds. I make myself Thank you, Meryl. I don't know why I can't make this so quiet, girl. Hey, Meryl. Well, I guess I won't be able to do this. Hey, Tracy. Good to have you here. All right. I'm going to I'm not going to mess around with this anymore. Right on. Hey, everybody. Hey, Diane. It's good to hear. It's good to see you. A uh, couple weeks. Uh, was that a couple weeks? A week ago or so in Las Vegas. Great to see your beautiful face. Love to have you here. Hey, everybody. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome to all of you from the Zero to Hero Online Mastermind, as well as the Top Producer Academy and my Top Producer Mastermind members. Glad to have you here. And most importantly, hey, Stephen. Most importantly, welcome to all of the new um, members of the Zero to Hero Online Mastermind. I know so many of you are either have already gone through the Busy Girl's Guide to Profitable Promotions, or you are currently going through the Busy Girl's Guide to Profitable Promotions, but I'm super excited to have you here. And I, just so you know, if you're brand new, number one, welcome. Super happy to have you here. But number two, uh, I periodically get on. I, I somehow think, okay, there's something that the, the group needs. And so that's what I'm here today because I got I got I have a confession to make. And actually, if any of you ever get that big fat pit in your stomach, hey Tracy, pit in your stomach when someone says, "What do you do?" Please post just put in the comments put put yes. And a and a frowny face <laughs> or just put a frowny face. Because I uh, I'll tell you a quick quick story. I think probably and this is a confession, a confession for you guys. Um, I think probably for the first, and this is actually really sad, <laughs> for the first maybe eight years, I was in this amazing profession. Uh, when people asked me what I did, I never had any idea what to say. And I would say something like, well, I'm an internet marketer. What the heck is that? Right? Or I would say, or someone told me, taught me once to say, you know those people that work from home and make a ton of money? That's me. <laughs> uh, or I would avoid say answering the question at all. Or I'd say, um, I'd say something like, uh, well, uh, I don't think, uh, well, I work, I work from home. Um, I sell stuff online. Oops, I already turned, I turned myself on again here. Hey guys, I want to make sure you can hear me. Um, if you're getting hear me, please give me a thumbs up in the chat. Let me know. Um, so I really, for the longest time, didn't have a proper answer to that question, what do you do? And I'll tell you, here in North America and most of the places around the world, it's the first thing that people ask you. They say, where are you from or what do you do? Thanks, Tracy. I appreciate it. What do you do? What do you do? And if you don't have a great answer for that, if you don't have a great answer for that, put a thumbs down in the chat, right? Because I'll tell you, the first eight or even 10 years, um, hey, Chris, for those eight or first eight or 10 years when I was practically running a stealth business, uh, I, as you guys know, I never have done the warm marketing thing ever in my businesses. I've always built my businesses online. So I didn't really have uh, an opportunity to really, really hone how I answered that question. And guess what? I probably lost, 
I don't know, $100,000, a million, who knows who I could have spoken to along the way. So I know that so many of you feel the exact same way, and especially as we're coming up on the, all the holiday time, uh, where you're going to be, obviously, we're out and about anyway, but during the holidays, you're going to be meeting a lot of new people at parties, football games, all the things that you do when you get out and about during the holiday season. So I wanted to come on here and talk specifically about how you can answer that what do you do question in a really, really powerful way so that you attract the people that are your perfect prospect. And they will answer when you say what you do, they'll say, oh, really? I want to do that too. Or, oh, really? How do you do that? And the people that aren't your perfect prospect will say something like, oh. <laughs> and then you've, ident- you've self-select- that person has self-selected themselves out or in by simply what you say as, your, as, your, um, uh, as how you introduce yourself. So one of the things that this does, it allows you to position yourself in, an, in any place where you're actually network marketing gets to be a lot of more fun and way more in easy. It allows you to be more confident so that your perfect prospect comes to you again so that you're not going to them. You're not using what's called that old elevator pitch where you're pitching somebody Uh, on your business or on what you do, because what you say when you meet somebody the very first time and how you answer that, if you can answer that in a very confident way, again, you're positioning yourself in your business. And if you're doing it wrong, it could cost you what it costs me uh, for 10 silly years of doing it wrong. And then when you dread that when somebody asks you what you do, and that's a huge barrier for you, and you're fumbling around trying to figure out an answer, and every single time you're making up a new or different answer, every time you do that, you're actually creating a downward cycle that'll only just reinforce itself. So let's end that right now. A um, couple, of, couple of things, so tips that I wanna share with you. Uh, cute and catchy doesn't work. So if you say, like, I'm the CEO of, uh, of the unemployed, or however you answer that, people, the CEO of everything, or uh, the internet marketing guru, or a, um, a body, a beach body, blah, 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 or whatever, if cute and catchy does not work, you want to make sure that how you answer that question is focused on your prospect and what you can do for them. Most importantly, though, I will just say right now, at the beginning of our time together, and we'll probably go about 15 minutes today, right now at the beginning of our time together, the one thing that you do not do ever, 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 ever is say, I'm a rep for blah, blah, blah company. I'm a business associate at Dubly. I'm a Beachbody coach for Beachbody. I am a unique rep. I am a don't do it. Don't do it. You are not your business. Now, when you become a big leader at that company, you can go around all over the place saying, I am a rep for Rodan and Fields. I am a rep for Miriam. I am a rep for whatever. Go ahead and do that. But right now, especially if you are not making that seven figure income that you want to make, your brand is you. Your brand is you. And I've been around in this industry long enough to know that companies, we love them all, but companies come and go. And some of the biggest companies that people would say would never leave this planet are not here anymore. Plus, people get started with people. People get started with people they know, like, and trust. I've been in front of, sadly, I've been in front of a lot of opportunities over the years and um, and had to move on for a whole host of reasons. Like, Leadership went out of integrity. The company abandoned the United States. The SEC had issues with the company. Um, Just things happen. But most importantly, what I learned along the way is that people actually, when they get started in your team, and I'm I'm gonna almost always be talking about building your network marketing team. When they get started in your team, they're getting started because they trust you. They trust you. You might have the greatest product in the world or you might have a so-so product. Your product 
especially when somebody's looking to build an income and generate an income online or generate an income with your business, they're looking to solve usually one of two problems, time or money, time or money. And they actually do not care. Now, of course, this is debatable, but they actually do not care what your product is. They care that you can solve their time or money issue. And of course, it's really nice that you have an amazing, almost all, I've not barely ever seen any bad network marketing products. They're usually the best products in the world. And it's nice to have them. And you can be super proud of, of what you have, but they're going to be getting started with you because you can solve their problem. And so you, you guys have heard me train on this over and over and over again. You are not your company. You are your, you are your brand and what the, what you can, what solutions that you can provide in the marketplace are what's important to your prospects. So again, you are not your business. Now I want you to ask yourself a question and you can, if you feel bold, you can put it in the, in the comments area. Are you saying any of, any of the following things? I can't network. I've never been successful at it. I hear that one all the time. Uh, no one in my area gets what I do or no one in my area can afford to buy my products or get started. Are you saying that to yourself? Or uh, my friends have heard me talk about my business too many times. I'm in the NFL. I'm in the no friends left league. Um, it's going to take me too long to build these relationships before they get started with me. Um, I, I'm not being able to make money doing what I love. All these things. Are any of you saying this at all to yourself in your business? Well, we're going to, it's going to be super easy. So we're going to, we're going to fix all of this. So the first thing that you want to do when you're thinking about what, how you want to position yourself and how you want to answer that question, what do you want to do is number one, know who your perfect prospect is. Who is that perfect prospect? And in our Top Producer Academy, we have a whole module on helping you uh, discover who your perfect prospect is. But it's easy enough to understand. You can figure this out yourself. Like, who is that? Um, for example, uh, my favorite example is if you are selling essential oils, your perfect prospect might be uh, a mom with three kids that is always battling colds coming in and out of the house and how to have a a natural home and natural uh, techniques for uh, uh, helping their family. So that might be your perfect prospect. You know, and you should know, you, if you're not, if you don't know, spend some time identifying who your perfect prospect is for your business. And then make sure that you don't say what you do. Your prospect really wants to know is, what can you do for me? They don't want it like, this doesn't work. When you're an entrepreneur, it's not like corporate America. I'm a sales director for a Tribune Media Company, right? No, you are actually a person that provides a solution to a problem. You are actually a person that provides a solution to a problem. So identify what it is that you can help that person, for, uh, your perfect prospect. What is it that you help that perfect prospect do? And start with that and get very, very specific. So I'm going to give you a formula. Actually, I should put it in the... Um, I should put it in the, uh, let me see if I can copy this. I'm going to put it in our chat, if I can do that. Hey, Connie. Hey, Joyce. Let's see. Let's uh, get rid of that. Okay. Okay. If this will work. So, okay, here's what you're going to want to do. Here's how your introduction or your, your answer to what do I do works. I work with or help your perfect prospect. Who is that perfect prospect? Who want something, whatever your benefit is, whatever it is that you do that helps them, and benefit number two. So I'll give you a couple of quick examples. So you'll be able to you'll be able to do this for yourself as well. I help new moms who are looking to lose their baby weight 
without having to cook all their meals. I work with downsized executives that want to build a retirement savings part time, but don't know how. You guys are getting this. I work with as somebody's new perfect prospect is a new mom. They insert new mom that are lo looking to lose baby weight without having to cook all their meals. I work with busy women who want to stop their faces from aging without spending a fortune on plastic surgery. So if you're with uh, Nerium or Rodan and Fields or any company that is, that is in an anti-aging uh, field, that's a perfect answer. And I'll go through it again. I work with busy women who want to stop their faces from aging without spending a fortune on plastic surgery. So think about this. If you're at a networking event, you're standing in line at Starbucks, you're at your Uncle Dan's Christmas party, and somebody says to you, what do you do? And, they're your, and you say, I work with busy women who want to stop their faces from aging prematurely, who don't want to spend a fortune on plastic surgery. And you, that person that is your perfect prospect is shaking your hand at that time. If they want what you are, what you do, the first thing they're going to do is say, oh my gosh, how do you do that? And you say that to everybody, right? That's exactly what you say. Or I work with family-oriented network marketing women that um, want to automate their business online so they can spend more time with their families. That's, that's basically mine. Mine is I work with serious network marketing professionals that want to build and automate their businesses online. So they can rank up, make more money, and spend more time with the people they love most in their lives. That's mine. Um, another one uh, for business, uh, for those of you that are looking to build your team is I help families with financial challenges who needed to get out of debt, create a residual income so they can live a life they love. I think you guys are getting this. Uh, if you're getting this, put a thumbs up or ask my question, ask any questions in the chat. I definitely want to help you with this. Once you get this down, it's a super simple formula. Once you've just, you, what I, your homework is, is to write it out. I work with or help. Well, who's your ideal client? And don't say everybody. <laughs> don't say everybody because everybody isn't your ideal client. Who is that person that you would love to have on your team or love to have as a customer that you can help specifically? Sure, Jennifer, I'd be happy to. Um, let me see if I've got some more here. that I, I wrote some out beforehand so that I wasn't fumbling around. Um, oh, here, I'll go here. Hold on. I help. Um, here's one that I wrote yesterday. I help uh, a professional women feel more confident with a jewelry wardrobe that is beautiful, unique, and appropriate for any boardroom so that they stand out without sticking out. So there's a bunch of, of jewelry network marketing companies out there. That would be the perfect example. If a woman, if professional women are your target, and, and again, you guys want to make be creative, right? You don't want to say, I help people build a, res I help people. First of all, people is way too generic. You want to get very, very new moms, moms with kids, uh, professional executives uh, and that's pretty broad too so you want to be really niche with that answer I help whoever that perfect prospect is and then benefits and I like to be creative with my benefits so the one I wrote yesterday feel more confident with the jewelry wardrobe that's be beautiful unique and appropriate for any boardroom it's kind of long and it doesn't trip off my tongue but that's cool that's fine because but it's different and it's unique, and it tells a little bit of a story. And so again, I'll read it again, Jennifer. I help professional women feel more confident with a jewelry wardrobe that is beautiful, unique, and appropriate for any boardroom so that they stand out without sticking out. So another example is I sell, if you sell skincare, again, we'll go back to another one that I wrote yesterday, which is similar to the one I said earlier. I help women help women halt the aging process in their skin so that they feel and look younger, longer. Does that make sense? So here's the deal. It takes some work. You've got to write this out. You have to write this out, and then you have to memorize it. Just memorize it. Stand in front of the mirror and say it so many times that you can't fumble when someone asks you the question. 
just make sure you just say that. Now, I've got an exercise that I share with my um, top producer academy members that I'm going to share with you here that will help you if you do it. But you must do this. It is in your best interest because it is so such a relief to know that answer so that you're equipped. You might even have you might even have two depending on the situation memorized so that when somebody asks you that question, you can actually be in the conversation with them, not trying to figure out what you're going to say. You want to be in that conversation to be ready to answer it so that you're not figuring out what they're going to say. You can be fully present for that conversation. And when the person says, yes, yes, how do you do that? You want to be prepared with your answer. Now, this is how I answer it. I'd be happy to send you some information. What's your email address? <laughs> That's my whole answer. I personally want to get every single person I possibly can on my email list. Um, I don't like, I'm not going to be having a meeting at Starbucks. But if that's the way you build your business, then you can, you can give them your business card and say, I'll call you tomorrow. Or sh trade business cards and I'll call you tomorrow. Me, I, I do everything as much as possible automated. So that makes sense, guys? Give me a thumbs up if you like this so far before I give you the exercise, your homework, your homework exercise, which, by the way, is super, super fun and easy to do. Really fun, actually. So um, has anybody ever watched uh, uh, any of the uh, stuff flew out of my head? Um, <laughs> watched Pink Panther movies. Anybody watch Pink Panther movies? If you've watched the Pink Panther movie, give me a, um, a thumbs up. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So I call this, and Tracy, you know this already. <laughs> Tracy's a member of our Top Producer Academy. Um, thank you, Jennifer. Um, okay. So here's the exercise. If you've ever watched the Pink Panther movie, you'll know that there's always one time in every Pink Panther movie where Cato, who is... Inspector Clouseau's uh, valet, <laughs> so Inspector Clouseau's valet ambushes him. And there's a big battle. She totally ambushes him. There's a big battle. Things get broken. And uh, usually it's in his apartment. The apartment gets trashed to smithereens. And then the phone rings. And, and in, they're all, they're fighting, fighting, fighting. And then Inspector Clouseau goes, hello. So, I call this the Cato exercise because I want someone to ambush you. So first and foremost, figure out your answer to the question, what do you do using the formula before, below my head here? Figure it out. Write it down. Memorize it. And then request somebody, a spouse, someone you love, someone you hate, your kids, whoever it is to randomly ambush you over the next few days and ask you what you do. The first time, um, I, the first time I thought of this exercise was actually in 2010. Um, and I, this is when I was finally getting my SHIT together as far as being able to answer that question. I'm like, I cannot have this happen anymore. I have to be able to answer that question in a meaningful way. And so um, I, thought up this Cato exercise and Don, my husband and I went to lunch about an hour after I had figured it out. And the first thing he did at lunch, we sat down and he goes, what do you do? And I sat there with blah, 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 blah. So you're going to be fumbling a little bit answering the question in the beginning. But if you've got some kids or spouse or somebody that's randomly texting you or calling you or communicating with you or tapping on your shoulder, asking you what you do over the course, maybe 10, 15, 20 times over the course of a few days, you will learn how to easily answer that question. The answer will trip off your tongue. And then again, you'll be armed when somebody asks that question to be able to attract the per your perfect prospect to you without having to ever pitch what you do or pitch your business or talk about your company or talk about your products You'll be able to let the process do it for you in, in a non-salesy, weirdo way. 
and you'll be able to build your business from a place of super being really confident in what you do and with the business that you're in front of. This is one of the most liberating things that you can do for your business. I know this is in an online marketing, I'm an online marketing girl, but we all live in a real world and it's all about building real relationships. Thank you, Stephen. Building real relationships with real people. So that's all I got for you today. Oh, before I go, I got to try these out. Happy Halloween. <laughs> these are goofy. I like this one. Happy Halloween. Uh, guys, have an amazing day. It's been my pleasure to be here with you. My name is Carla Silver, and I help serious network marketing professionals build and automate their businesses online so they can rank up, make more money, and most importantly, spend more time with the people they love most in this world. And that means you. Bye, everybody.